All right, I'm L Director. This is L Director Vision, and today we have another unboxing. This is kind of the theme right now, but we're getting lots of cool new toys for Leap Revelation. If you watched the last video, uh, you will have seen that we are now rocking the Earth's Mini 4K, which you can see behind me. And I made the uh, note that I need a new glide cam for it too, because the little HD 2000, which is sitting over there right now, is too small to support this beast. <coughs> so, did a lot of research online and uh, found this on YouTube. What do we got here? Oh, cool. Give me a, a lens cloth. That's pretty nice. Uh, we got a Manfrotto head and also the Devon Graham Signature Series Glide Cam. So, this will be pretty cool. So, I was gonna get this on Amazon. I usually get most of my stuff on Amazon. However, they were sold out of these right now. And so I got on eBay and I found a seller that did um, expedited shipping and stuff. It was two day shipping. And it was, the, the normal glide cam for this particular one is $800. And they were charging $820 for the glide cam plus this unit. And this unit alone is usually 50 bucks. So I saved $30 on a Manfrotto head, which is the way I look at it. And so it was a really good deal. Um, so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed here because unboxings are so much fun, especially if you are a filmmaking person like myself. I love watching this kind of stuff. I love making them. So as you can see, it comes in its own little case, which is pretty sweet. And uh, we'll get this bad boy set up here and hopefully See if this is going to work with the Earth's Mini 4K. This is the, the real reason why I'm doing this right now is because um, I know the HD 4000 will support my camera, but there's some really nice features on this that we'll talk about as we go that I'm hoping with the 12 pound limit will work with this, this beast back here. And I'm just, I'm not sure where that, the weight limit is on, on Rambo. So uh, yeah, let's take a look here. So we've got this little thumb drive, I believe this has got his training videos on it, so that's kind of nice. And then we got the screws which we're going to need here. Put the video up there. Instruction manuals, that's kind of nice actually, I like this little pocket, that's, that's real cool. And then this is the main assembly here. Get this out. Um, yeah, oh gosh, that's nice. That is way nice. I like that this is all textured, it's going to make it really nice to get a grip. Very cool. I've been shooting with the HD 2000 for about a year now. I got it actually last year this time with tax money, and that's how I got this one. And uh, absolutely loved it. I get to travel internationally with my job occasionally doing film and video production. And so I actually took the HD 2000 overseas to Vanuatu, a little island chain off the, the coast of Australia, and uh, did some filming out there for the TV show at work. So that was pretty sweet. And I loved it, and I, I love Glidecam. I think it adds a lot of nice production value. To be perfectly honest, I got into Glidecam before I even knew who Devin Graham was, um, which is odd being a YouTube guy myself. I didn't, I didn't know who he was on there, but it is what it is, I guess. All right. So you know, now I know who he is, and I, I've subscribed, of course, to him, and I like the work that he does, and I really like some of the features on this new Glidecam, and that's why we're rolling with that. So let me get these open here. Give me just a moment and we'll be good to go. All right, now as I'm getting this set up here, I should take a moment to mention that I have a sneaking suspicion that that camera is so heavy, I'm going to have to buy a vest and an arm. So I've been pricing those out right now, trying to find a decent one. Um, a lot of them will actually come with the glide unit itself, which I don't need because I've got this one, of course. Um, so really what I'm looking for is just something to take the weight off my, my forearms and my wrist especially too. I actually, uh, from writing movies so much, I've written eight feature film scripts. I've developed carpal tunnel in my wrist and so uh, the glide cam tends to aggravate it a little bit. So I have a nice little wrist brace that I'll use when I'm flying these things, but I'm just, I'm <laughs> the sucker is so heavy. Everyone says, oh, it's so light, it's so light. No, trust me. It's light maybe compared to the full size Ersa. But when you're stepping up from a Canon T2i, it's a heavy camera. All right. Now, I know this camera is so heavy that I'm probably going to need all my weights. And so that's what I'm going to do right now is 
I believe I've got, let's see, a total of 12, so I can do six per side. That'll be nice. So I stick these on, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Good grief. And we'll lock this sucker on. This may seem like overkill, but the way this works, there's a lot of cool physics involved. And uh, it all works with counterweight and counterbalancing. All right, beautiful. Next one. And again, just so I can space these. What's really cool looking at this compared to the, the 2000 over there is you can see there's a couple different screws. So you could actually, it looks like, I believe, offset where you want your, your weights to be, if you want them on the outside or if you want them on the inside. And so I'm just going to stick mine onto the outside because that's what, I'm, that's what I'm familiar with from the 2000. And then when I get this built, we'll compare the two rigs side by side, of course, because I know you guys will eat that up. But yeah, I, uh, I did some looking into trying to find the best glide cam for the Ursa Mini 4K and nobody has done any reviews on flying it with this particular glide cam. So as far as I know, I don't think I'm the first, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first to actually review it this way. So uh, if you're on the forums, DVX user, BMC user, Red user, whatever, and people are wanting to know, hey, can you fly an Ursa uh, or Ursa Mini, send them to my video here and we'll find out together, won't we? Okay, almost done. All right, those are locked on nice and tight. Son of a gun, this thing is getting heavy. All right, and then this is a really nice new feature too. This is their new um, top plate for the thing. It's got a built-in Manfrotto quick release built into it, which is nice, and only two adjustment knobs. You've got your right left right here, your forward uh, reverse on the back, and they're actually labeled, which is really cool. F for forward, R for right, so the other side would be left, the other side would be backwards, and uh, which is really cool because on the older ones on the HD series, you kind of have to guess which one is which until you, you know, learn it, of course. All right, so got that built up now. Let's go ahead and line this sucker up and we'll just arbitrarily for now build it right there. Let's see if we can pop out. Let's see if we can pop this thing, there it goes. And uh, give me a moment to install this on my camera. Now, one of the things I really like about the Ursa Mini is that uh, you can't see now because I've got the plate on already, but it's got like four or five screw holes, four screw holes, because I've got the same ones on the top right here too, you can see, along the bottom. So you can actually adjust this depending on where the center of gravity is. So I've just, you know, kind of picked a spot right now, and let's see how this works. I'm a bit scared doing this with a top handle on here, but I am trying to keep the weight down. All right, now when you balance these things, you want your screen out, lens cap off. So this is now how I'd fly it. I've got this beast of a battery on the back of the thing too. This needs to lock down. Let's try maybe set 17. Okay, that's how that works. So as you can see, this slides up and down, which is uh, gonna be great for getting some nice low angle running shots and it just locks twists into place there oh but dude this sucker is so heavy all right let's try a drop test one mississippi two mississippi i think it's gonna work that is awesome all right um let's try this one more time one mississippi two mississippi that is just about perfect that is cool so now that I've got that, I can lock this down here. I know 17 is my number up here on the top. So that's good. And now I start vertically and horizontally adjusting this. So first thing I notice is that it leans slightly to my left. So I'm going to move it ever so slightly to the right. Move it just a little bit more to the right. more a 
cool. Oh, dude, this thing's a beast. <laughs> Son of a gun. I'm definitely going to get my workout flying this thing. All right, let me put on my, my wrist brace, and uh, we'll give this a, a larger go here. All right, got the wrist brace on. Let's, uh, let's try this thing. Power it up. Okay, and we are running. Uh, hello, exposure. I was doing some filming outside today with this thing, and so I'm sitting at F17. Let's drop that back to F4. Much better. ISO 400 F4. Love it. Okay. Oh, man. Put my screen down that way so I can see. I don't know if you guys can see my shaking. This is so heavy. I need to adjust this forward a little bit, it looks like. The good news is, is that it does appear to support the camera. The bad news, ugh, just using it is uh, quite painful. Okay. I can actually see my micro shakes translating into this thing, which is crazy. Try it again. I'm just trying to balance my forward back. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Oh yeah, that sucker's a beast. But as you can see, it does balance. Let's shift it to the right just a little bit more. Oops, caught my microphone. Yeah, that's nice, but I, uh, I can pretty much say now with certainty that if you're gonna fly the Ursa Mini on the Glide Cam and on the Devon Graham one, because it works, so that's great, so you get the extra feature advantages with it, definitely gonna need the arm and the vest. Um, I could maybe do a 10 second shot with that thing and then need like another minute or two to, to recover again, because I mean, this, this is, super heavy. The um, entire shipment was 10 pounds and I put most of the weights on this thing in order to balance it. So you got that going against you. Let me power this off here. You know, I'm using an L series lens on the front of it. I've got a battery sitting on the back that alone weighs probably two and a half pounds. So um, it, it just, it, it adds up quick. I've probably got 20 pounds of weight total right there. So imagine trying to carry 20 pounds on your wrist. It's just, it's and with your, your bicep, because most of it comes from up here. Uh, definitely think you're going to need a vest flying an Ursa Mini on these glide cams. But that's what this video is for, so we know. By comparison, <laughs> here was the T2i on the HD2000. And uh, this is the, the one that doesn't work, but that's all right. Um, gosh, I feel like I could, I could fly this one all day long. This is super, super light. I didn't balance it yet, but uh, yeah, wow. Just that there's a night and day difference between two. I thought this was heavy at first. When I was learning to fly gl glide cam, I was like, man, this thing was heavy. But now, I think after I, I train with this one for a little bit, I go back to that one, no contest at all. I, I could fly that one all day long. So moral of the story, just to repeat myself, <laughs> because this is my YouTube channel, um, Yes, the Ursa Mini will fly on the Devon Graham Signature Series Glide Cam, but you're probably going to need a vest unless you're benching, you know, at least your body weight, if not more, uh, at the gym five days a week kind of a thing. And I, I don't lift weights. I've got some dumbbells over there I'll do curls with, some 30-pound dumbbells. And even that's not enough <laughs> to really mess with this thing. So anyway, I'm L Director. This is L Director Vision. I hope you've enjoyed this review and unboxing. And uh, stay tuned for some test footage from this thing. See you next time.
<laughs> this is really intense, guys. I kid you not. Okay. Heading to my barbecue. Heading away from the barbecue. Oh, lost it. <laughs> oh, this is a beast. <laughs> 